Day 8 Mary, Woman of Our Times Mary, having lived her life to the full as a gift, is a woman of all times, including our own. She's always relevant, never grows old and never goes out of fashion. We can think of her beside us in our trials, sufferings and anxieties. Because she suffered them, she is now our effective help and support. Maria, Mary, woman of our times, we want to hear her like this. As one of us, in her home, speaking our language, our dialect. An expert in ancient traditions and popular customs. We would like to imagine her like this, immersed in the life of our country, dressed in modern clothes that do not intimidate anyone. A woman who earns her bread like everyone else, who parks her car next to ours. A woman of all ages, with whom all women can feel close, regardless of the season of their lives. We want to imagine her walking down the streets of the city centre and stopping to converse with others. Or meeting her at the cemetery, laying a flower on her deceased loved ones. Or as she goes to the market, also haggling over the price. Or when, like all other mothers, she waits in front of the school for her child to leave at noon, to take him home and shower him with kisses. We do not want her as a guest, but as a fellow citizen, sharing our community problems and concerned about the malady shaking our cities. Mary, we want to feel this way, all ours. The good Lord had decided to create the mother he had already been fiddling around with it for six days when an angel appeared and said to him, This one's wasting your time, eh? And he, Yes, but did you read the requirements order? It has to be completely washable, but not plastic. Have 180 moving parts that are all replaceable. Run on coffee and leftovers from the day before. Have a kiss that can heal everything from a broken leg to a love disappointment. And six pairs of hands. The angel shook his head and retorted incredulously, Six pairs! The difficult thing is not the hand, said the good Lord, but the three pairs of eyes that a mother must have. So many! God nodded. One pair to see through closed doors when he asks, What are your kids up to in there? Even though he already knows. Another pair behind his head to see what he shouldn't see, but needs to know. Yet another pair to say tacitly to the son who got into trouble, I understand and I love you. Lord, the angel said, gently touching his arm. Go to sleep, tomorrow is another. I cannot, replied the Lord, I'm almost done now. I already have one who heals herself if she is sick, who can make a lunch for six with half a kilo of mincemeat and who can hold a nine-year-old still in the shower. The angel slowly walked around the mother model, examining it with curiosity. She's too tender, he then said with a sigh. But resistant, retorted the Lord fiercely. You have no idea what a mother can do or endure. Can she think? Not only that, but she also knows how to make good use of reason and compromise, retorted the creator. At that point, the angel bent over the mother's model and ran a finger over her cheek. There is a leak here, he declared. It is not a loss, the Lord corrected him. It is a tear. What's the use? 
It expresses joy, sadness, disappointment, sorrow, loneliness and pride. But you are a genius, exclaimed the angel. With subtle melancholy, God added, actually it wasn't me who put that thing there. It was not God who created tears. Why do we have to do it? Hi, my name is Ariana. Um, I work with the past pupils and friends of Don Bosco here in Malta. Um, I'm a social projects coordinator. And my main aim in my job is to accompany and support young adults, especially youths that come from a disadvantaged background. Uh, we currently have two residencies. Um, our residencies are supported independent living, which means we offer a program where we help young people become independent and transition into adult life. Um, apart from the accommodation, we also offer a mentor for each of our youths. Um, the mentor offers support aid, and guidance according to the needs of each individual. Um, at times, they might need help in cooking skills, in budgeting skills, um, in keeping a job. So we work according to their needs. Apart from that, we also work with uh, professionals such as social workers, therapists where needed. Um, and the idea is to help these youths um, reach their full potential. One of our houses is also part of an intergenerational program. Um, the apartments are located in a bigger building where older people also live. Um, they share communion space and so we encourage our youths um, to offer some of their time to these people as well. Um, that way, they are also offering and helping the older generation, while the older people offer their supports to our youth. As a, com as a coordinator, I communicate and I, I visit the young people regularly, make sure that their needs are met, and also make sure that we are offering a safe and nurturing environment for them to grow. Um, I find my job very fulfilling, at times challenging, um, but I love spending my time with these young people. Prayer Holy Mary, woman of our day, come and dwell among us. Let us feel you close to our problems. Make us realize that modesty, humility, purity are fruits of all seasons of history, and that the passage of time has not altered the chemical composition of certain values such as graciousness, obedience, trust, tenderness, forgiveness. Put yourself beside us then, and listen to us as we confide in you the daily anxieties that beset our modern lives. The salary that is not enough, the fatigue of stress, the uncertainty of the future, the fear of not being able to cope, the inner loneliness, the wear and tear of relationships, the instability of affection, the difficult upbringing of children, the incommunicability even with the dearest people, the absurd fragmentation of time, the dizziness of temptations, the sadness of falls, the boredom of sin. Holy Mary, woman of our times, let us feel your reassuring presence. 